Ah, uh, what is good, guys? We are back with uh, Game 3 host TABR vs. one of host Kaido, and we see pretty nice. This team looks like RS at ABR Broad completely, like no Gen 7 one. We see no stall, which I'm grateful for. One of host Kaido has an interesting team. Mega Scissor with Bulu and either the move torn or AV torn. This looks kind of like a Ricardo team to me. Like this one team Ricardo has used an old T, which was pretty much the same mons, but it had a um, scarf, the Heligo slash scarf guard jump over the Zygarde. Uh, most of the time, you see Ash Greninja when a team has no second water type. But it could still be Protein. The Z move one is either the Bulu or the. or the Torn. Unless he wants to be Stealth Rock 3 attacks, Z move Lando. Uh, no, not, not 3 attacks. Stealth Rock SD 2 attacks Landorus, which is sometimes used to get up rocks versus Stall. Uh, so let's look at ABR's team. Let's try to figure out some sets here. He doesn't have T-Spike support, so I don't know if it's a Windscoon or Windcoon, however that thing's called. I uh, could see a knockoff here. Yeah, exactly. Get rid of the lefties and the Pharaoh. Oh, it was Helmet Pharaoh's on. Good God. Wild. Uh, I could see that being Scarf Terrakion to check Volcarona, which is like one of the huge threats in the Sun Moon metagame with the Z moves being released. It's just such a big thread. I just feel like you have like you have to run a scarf that is that is faster than Volcarona, which is either Nilego Godchamp, Terrakion, Inferno. I don't know if there's any other faster that can Oko Volcarona. <clears throat> so Mega Metagross, which coverage moves would the Metagross ha have on his team? Scissor looks kind of annoying to ABR's team, so uh, maybe he's HP Fire Alakazam. Oh, I said, did I, did I say he's Mega Metagross? He could be Mega Zam. Hmm. I haven't looked into that. He could be Sash Counter Zam, which is an interesting set that I have seen used a bit lately. Yeah, Kaido brought some anti stall, that's true. Uh, like I said, Kaido's team looks like a Ricardo team, and that one team Ricardo used. And his OST run had uh, SD Phytonium. Was it? Nah, it was SD Condon the Crush Bulu. With Leech Seed to beat. It's pretty good versus Stall. And it had. Um, I think Smackdown of Blade Landers to be good versus Stall. Don't remember 100%, but I think he had those sets. And then it was just a U turn. U turn on Torn Greninja and Scissor just to get. Um, the Bulu in as much as possible, get chip damage and stall mons, have the torn to knock off items on the stall team. But yeah, I didn't bring stall. Yeah, the team kinda makes you think that we're not host Kaido, this guy, um, I think that's his alt. That he predicted that they to bring stall, but I didn't bring stall. That was a, um, he went to on Heat with and then he went to Landris. Not really 100% sure what he predicted there, but the hurricane was. Who did hurricane hurt? I mean, this could still be. I don't think this would be Scarf Lando. No. no. I think this would be Rocks Lando and. Spikes Feral Thorn with Leech Sheet and. Maybe Protect? Nah, Protect Helmet is weird. So we see if we're gonna do uh, which I assume is scarf to reckon like I said, predicting another hurricane slash U-turn slash HP eyes as desired is probably gonna fire off a thousand arrows here that's pretty free, it can live every hit from Terrakion. So you can didn't take that much. So maybe that's a jolly band or maybe that's uh, I assume that's just max defense, Kuhn or near max defense. Yeah, what's ABS Z move one? That's a good question. Either on the land or on them, yeah. Uh, still not sure which one is the Mega on AVR's team though, it could be... I don't think AV Torn, uh, not AV Torn, AV Mega was that good in Sun Moon. You just see uh, AVR Fire of a Scald. The 
Greninja goes for the flinge that Ash Greninja gets burned. That's a clutch burn for ABL. Now we will see if ABL has protect. I don't think he will have protect. I think he's just a rest Tarkun. Or maybe he has a war on rest. So we see him going to Rakuen as we know the Greninja is locked into Specs Dark Pulse. It's a nice boost and you can click Stone Edge here. Which hits everything on the opposing side, but he was missing. So he just clicks CC, he doesn't want to risk missing. Stone Edge was only good there because it hit everything. Like, CC didn't, would be resisted by Land and Bulu, but since he was plus one, I guess CC was pretty much a fine play there, and he didn't want to risk missing in front of a. Nah, the Ranger was looking Dark Pulse, but still, I can get understand the play. The Land Risk gets sucked off. What did you predict earlier when you went to land with on the Torn? I think you predicted a U-turn. That was I don't, I'm not sure about that play. I can't think clear. I'm tired. It's like yeah. In ten minutes is midnight here. That's kind of interesting. Why um. Maybe I couldn't could have gone hard Metagross. He is Mega Metagross. Okay. He pursued that. That was really weird. Yeah, it could have been Bandit Bulu on on that host Kaido's side, which is why ABS play makes sense not going hard Metagross, because Metagross before its Mega Wolf would have taken so much from Woodhammer if it's Bandit. Uh, the chest is going wild, because the guy stayed in on the Pursuit. Pursuit makes some sense, because says I was a switch in potentially. I think ABS is just gonna go for Medium Mesh now. I mean. Maybe I didn't really lose much from staying in since the Woodhammer didn't do much with the Bulu being minus one and Crest to run healing ABR. Yeah, I still don't know why I didn't mash there, but now the scissor comes out if this gets a medium mash boost. Oh, he used for Ice Punch, what? Dang, he predicted the, did he predict the lander there? Or did he predict the Bulu staying in? He revealed attack the HP file, let's go! Sorry. He's just going for the boost, breaking the scissor to be um, not SD scissor. Most scissors just run um, Defog, Roost U-turn and Bullet Punch, which means they can't even hit Metagross hard. Going Suicune there is a pretty nice play because he's going to get Leftovers plus Grass Terrain. Now the Grass Terrain ends, and now we can fire off a Scald. Yeah. His opponent doesn't have good scold switches, he can potentially get a burn on anything. <clears throat> Dang, I'm getting tired, I can't think. <laughs> what would you do here? You probably go to Torn. Yeah, exactly. Trying to knock off the Suicune's leftovers. He gets the burn. ABR fishing here gets the nice burn. I could see ABR going to. Huh. Okay, yeah, uh, he didn't have good switchins. Like, I was thinking what what switchins could ABR have, but then I was like... <laughs> so I assume maybe I was gonna go for S Scald here. Yeah, exactly, trying to burn the Bulu. The incoming Bulu gets the burn, that's pretty huge. Yeah, that's pretty huge. Mobali flashbacks, yeah, but when he played with Mobali, there was a Fini, there was Misty Terrain up, but then Mobali switched in his Bulu. And the grassy terrain went up and it got skull burned. That was whew, that was the week one of SPL. I recorded a lot of SPL, you guys already know most of you guys know that. But I got some new subs, so I guess I should still mention that. Um why did this why did I mention that is cause um yeah back in the day I didn't start like that was like three months ago when it, when the SPL start. Oh yeah, ice punch there. Gets the freeze on this is a good god. Yeah, back when I this is pretty huge for ABI, I think ABI wins now. Back in the day, unless this is all sold out, um, yeah, it sold out immediately. Back in the day, I didn't record SBL, the first match actually, which was ABR was this Lysergic. I just started recording like a few days after. I think I missed the schedule for the first game. I was like, when is this game? When is this game? And then I was checking the forum and I already saw, so, damn, it's already over. Uh, ABR still has the upper hand because you get that. Uh, that huge scope burn was huge on the Bulu, and also burning the Torn was nice. Damn, is he going for the para now? What? I mean, I can understand that he has play staying in, like I said earlier, because the scissor can't really touch the macros. Like that U-turn only the 28. 
Wait, did he get three skull burns? Oh yeah, he also burned the Greninja. <laughs> he burned the Greninja, the Torn, and the and the Bulu Scott showing when it's still a good move, even though the burn got nerfed in Gen 7. Well, uh, Suicune is getting healed here thanks to Grassy Two, and so this kind of helps Xavier. He can bring in his Metagross, he can get some... Or he can bring in his Pharos on too, but he decides to go Metagross. Since the Bulu got burned, this Metagross doesn't take much damage at all. Um, I'm not sure if this Bulu is banned, but I think it's banned, because... That's still a good chunk, considering it's a Mega Metagross, the Bulu was burned. Yeah, but I'm not 100% sure if it's banned. I mean, now he just sacked the Bulu because it was like. Because I almost said he break the Bazoot again. Like, Bulu wasn't doing much, but. I still think he could have gone Scissor there. Nah, Scissor was at 59. We, yeah, we know the entire set for Metagross. But yeah, if Metagross went for Mesh and got a boost, Scissor couldn't have switched in. But if he got a boost, it pretty much. Destroys his opponent's team anyway, besides the Torn having Heat Wave, yeah. Torn is Heat Wave. What was the Scarf on the opponent's team? Probably doesn't have a Scarf because he has Bullet Punch on Scissor, Water Shooting on Greninja, probably, and this could have E Speed. I still don't know if the Zygarde is banned though. 35 only to the Suicune, so it's either Jolly Zygarde and like Max Def Kuhn. Yeah, well, it's not banned, so I'm not sure. Yeah, Smoktus just ended after 4 hours because the games were talking for errors. Smoktus today was RSOU. That's wild. So, yeah, Kuhn comes in on the heat wave. Metagross is kind of a threat with Gratitude and healing it. And since they're not being able to really touch the Metagross. So, I can understand uh, that he went for heat wave there. Not wanting to play around with a threat like Metagross. So, we can get off a rest. Hurricane doesn't have much PP versus the Suicune, also he can miss, so yeah, resting is fine. Suicune's pretty much good to go. We see the Sleep Talk reveal, Abia puts a Calm on them. Abia's really getting the good pulls here. Watch him get a Scald and burn the Zyga to, to like, clutch this game. Like, this game's actually over if he burns this too. But yeah, this is looking to be in Abia's favor, but he got... He got really lucky so far, okay. I just sex the Pharathorn, I can get behind that, not let, wanting to let this so you can get low. And he's gonna go into Metagross here and click Mash or Ice Punch. Or he can go Zam if he has like... Nah, I think he's going Metagross here. That makes more sense to me. Like, unless he's some wild Zam with HP eyes, which I don't see him being. Like Terrakion, the Scarf Terrakion doesn't kill Zygarde, so why would you go to that? Scarf Terrakion is really nice to have for the Torn. Yeah, he goes to Metagross. You now it's, uh, it's between Mash and Ice Punch. Like, there's no way you make a risky double here. Like, you can make a risky double in the Suicune and the Scissor, because the Scissor's. The Scissor pretty much has to come out. Yeah, you just go for Mash or Ice Punch. Ice Punch probably. Sex of the Land of them. So he wasn't Helmet Landorus. Probably Z move. Wait, did he already show Z move? That was in the game one of the series where he showed Z move pool. Oh, that was in game two, never mind. I don't remember. Yeah, it was in game two. Sex does Lando to get off to intimidate, and now he can roost up a scissor. I mean, yeah, they are all saying he has a scissor, but uh, I can understand why he didn't go with scissor. <laughs> let me switch my 4 times speed out to my other 4 times speed. No, so let me explain this. He didn't want to go Scissor there because he was a 59. If the Metagross got a boost, Scissor was pretty much dead. But I can still understand the chat because... I can still understand, understand the chat because he kind of needed the Landorus. Like, he's losing Mons. He's losing too many Mons. Like, I know going Scissor was a risky play, like I mentioned. As that actually has only 35. Good God. Zagat is kind of weak, if that's really banned, but I don't think it is. But yeah, Scoon is still gonna get sacked off here. Actually, he can get a Skull Burn, we can rest again. Ooh, we rested again. Mm, but this is in ABR's opponent's favor. 
She's gonna get 3 KO unless he supposed to skull burn, she doesn't. Yeah, like I said, he didn't want to get have the me Metagross get a mash boost and then kill the scissor. But losing Landros was huge too, because that was checking the Terragium pretty well. Just in general, and what's another sack if you needed one? Uh, let me see who wins Smogdos. Actually, I will check who wins Smogdos after this game. He sacks off the Metagross as he sees the Suicune as a win condition. So he can pretty much beat the Scizor and can also beat the Torn Up. <laughs> beat the Torn Up, that was a weird sentence. I <laughs> blunder, no one will ever know whether Lando was tossed out the door. <laughs> oh, rip. I just clicked on Dragon User by mistake. Oh, he says, they say he didn't want to risk the Ice Punch Freeze on Sis. I mean, I thought maybe I could have managed but it the Sis, but I guess maybe I had no reason not to Ice Punch earlier. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna see this. Probably Sasha because I'm alive, or Sasha makes more sense with counter for like opposing Metagross. Even though he already has a Feral Storm, which is like with Helmet that chips at Metagross. Scarf to Rack that can revenge Metagross. At like 50 or 60, I don't know exactly. So it's AV Torn, that Psychic does l chip damage, it doesn't do much. Wait, is ABI actually losing this? Hey, I thought ABI had this. Dang. I mean, it's not over, but... ABI can lose now. He got pretty lucky so far with all the skull burns and he can still lose. Um, I don't think he wants to go for a knockoff here, because if this is set, if it's counter like them, his torn will die. Goes to Terra predicting um yeah, that's why Hurricane probably on a potential counter. Goes to Terra predicting a U-turn slash knockoff, I don't know. And now you can fire off a stone slash close combat. I think the Zygot is pretty obvious here. Yeah, what's this here? Like, I don't think there's a way... I don't think there's a world in which he's sacking the Torn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As you see, here, yeah, that's my words. But the yeah, IBM, it's the better play. Goes for edge. I don't know why he would stay in there with the torn. I would have CC then gone mad and like swam my computer out the window. <laughs> okay, he just uh, sacks the Terrakion. Yeah, he needs the Sash on like Kazam, so staying in makes some sense. Like Chet said, there has to be a paper. <laughs> the Chet is going so hard, he's dead 50 through the game. I don't know, like. I'm not trying to comment about that. <laughs> I actually can't think clear. It's um, past midnight here now. <laughs> this is AVR. Check your bank account. <laughs> Why are they talking like he put it made a donation? Like, this is. I mean, it's kind of funny to me, but it's probably not funny to the guy who's playing or to some people. Yeah, I could see this really being some weird, wild HP as I'm said. If it's not HPIs, now psychic my psychic probably two kills offensive Zygarde. I forgot this is not spdef call. This is not that bulky. Like we can check Zygarde stats and see. What HHP ninety five spdef? It's pretty decent bulk, but um maybe it's a roll to two KO with psychic, but Alakazam should be able to do it. Should be able to two KO this. Yeah, you can go Scizor. He can go scissor, but if it's HP fire them, or if maybe I can go for a counter on the to under scissor attacks, he's pretty much in a really good position. Nah, <laughs> I think he just assumes all of ABR's mons are HP fire. I 
mean, HP Fire is for mods like Feral Thorn, Scissor, right? Yeah, like I said earlier, he's kind of weak to Scissor, so this could really be HP Fire then. Like his best Scissor answer is like Suicune. Because I don't think, no, nah, his mana growth not HP, was not HP for his mana growth entire set got revealed, it was Ice Punch, Deep Punch, Mash. I don't know the last move, I forgot. Yeah, it's HP Fire and he went for it on the switch, ABR the god, whoo, whoo, the chat is going wild now. You can, you can actually like, expect the chat to go insane now. That's one of the reasons that I record the chat, I love when it goes wild, even though sometimes the chat is kind of irritating and... But sometimes the chat is actually like, they give like good input about the game, but other times it's just annoying. <laughs> Even human. <laughs> Wait, they saying ABR loses? How? I mean, if he bullet punches here, the Zam goes down to the Sash. Okay, he predicted bullet punch, he went into Kuhn. And he went for U-turn. Oh my god! How did he know? Dude, maybe I won there if he HP fired again. Wait. I think maybe I lose us now. <laughs> he says, don't burn me again, please. Yes, yeah, so we can wake up this turn. Oh no, he doesn't wake up. He has to go for sleep. Okay, that's a skull. Does he get the burn? He doesn't get the burn. F. <laughs> I don't know why I said F, you we got three skull burns, but I'm rooting for ABR, like... Damn, maybe I lose this now, probably. Yeah, he needs a psychic crit. I don't <laughs> think he has death and gleam, there's no way. He's HP fire. Uh, I think he's slash assembly, HP fire, psychic... Should I bought slash focus blast in the last slot. I don't know what he has in the last slot, but oof. I mean, he just... If Desire doesn't die here, ABR loses to 1000 arrows plus bullet punch. Damn. <laughs> Z-Psychic, someone said Z-Psychic. I mean, I don't think he has his psychic. He would have already clicked it if he had it. That would be too far. <sighs> yeah, psychic terrain. Is that, psychic terrain, is that a move? Like, I mean, Alakazam can learn it, but he gets the crit on the he gets the crit on the Zygarde, and the chat is going wild. Oh my god, this is entertaining as fuck. Man said GG been lit or what? Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, Avia was out of this. And... He got all the score burns. And now he got the crit that he needed. Oh my lord. I mean, I wanted him to win, but not like that, sir. <laughs> But this is pretty much, this pretty much shows Pokemon is a interesting wild game, you never know who wins. Like I thought maybe I had this game and like, uh, like half in the game and then like he, the other guy changed it around. But then he got the crit. And he still said good luck for the rest of the tournament after that crit, but god. Yeah, shout out to the goat. As some people might say the better player always crits or always gets the luck that he needs in the right turn. Mm. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna disrespect his opponent. I think he played this game decent. Decent yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. He played this game pretty well. He went after bringing a weird stall team game one and kinda getting destroyed. He did pretty well in game two and game three and There was a pretty high chance that Avia could have been out, but get the crit that he needed and he get 
that one HP fire play correct, which was a gold play, but then the U turn play was also pretty much a fire play. Good God, one of those kind of respect things, man. The hero of our hearts. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you watched the entire thing, that's pretty cool. Like all the three games. Um, I don't know if everyone wants to watch the game one because it was stall. But it's pretty much interesting to see how people try to break stall and in tournaments in my opinion and I mean the guy didn't play optimal game one but uh, let me call him one of those kind of, um, he's and he was an OST top 8 I didn't don't know much about the guy but being an OST round 8 is worth being mentioned with your correct name and not just with your alt name in my opinion but yeah congratulations to ABR for moving on to OST semi-finals And where he will face either I Love League or the winner of the other two series. This will be random. We, we, will, we don't know yet. Um, ben Gates playing J stays on Tuesday probably. And what's the other game again? Uh, Lord Odrish is playing Malakith. Yeah, they both asked for t extension. I said this a few times. Yeah, see you guys next time. Hope you all enjoyed. I, I know I'm rambling on. Nice shoutouts to um, Padlop for not letting me record his World Cup game. You're scum. Happy World Cup. And peace out, friends. <laughs>